Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. It's fine out time again. Yep, inside of here, I got another new fine out watch. They must be really proud of this one, uh, the bottom of it, because it's in here upside down. And you can't, you can't put it in any other way because of where the knob is. So it's either a case made for a different watch or they really want to highlight the back, which of course has a cover over. Have you noticed that? And have you been taking this off on a lot of the watches, especially the ones that might have these plates on the bottom of them that need electrical contact? Yeah, make sure you get that cover off and that cover off and all that stuff. So what is this one? Well, it's called the I-86 and it is a 1.75 inch 320 by 385 as most of their watches are they're long rectangular got the rotating knob button thing bluetooth calling 2021 new one uh, of course check the show notes for the link that'll take you directly to the final factory online store at aliexpress to pick this one or any of the other ones up we're looking at a lot of final watches here recently let's dive into it it's got the screen we just told you about a scrolling crown sort of sounds like great britain doesn't it um dual user interface main menu the bluetooth calling body temperature test is in this heart rate blood pressure ecg uh there's the size of the strap and i believe yep it's the apple style of strap that goes into it um we've got zinc alloy magnetic pin charger on this one and so for 220 milliamp hour battery and uh, the different languages supported. So as far as the main uh, functions go, here they all are. Now notice it says PPG and ECG analysis of ECG data, and it says the supporting app is Fundu. If you've watched our channel before, you realize that Fundu and ECG, generally when they're used in the same sentence, means it's fake. I'm putting that out there right now, unless they've done something different. This will not be a true ECG chart. It'll look kind of like it, smell like it. It has the scratch and sniff spot, but it isn't truly a real chart because they all look identical. So going to not really emphasize that one. I would say skip the fact that it says it has ECG, but blood pressure, body temperature, pedometer, and of course, all these other biometrics, they're subject to you testing them out on your own body and comparing them with the uh, calibrated instruments if you can to make sure that they're right for you. It's got fine phone, Bluetooth music. You can control the music on your phone, not put the music in this device. I don't think it's got memory for that, but it's got the controls, multiple sports, other functions, basically a, uh, a robust uh, smartwatch. Yep. All right, let's take it out. Take a look. We've got the bands in here and it's basically the same black silicone slide in bands that they're shipping with most of these watches the little manual and instead of the magnetic wireless charging this has actually got the connecting kind and it's a strong magnet it can hold it so uh, we plug it in to charge it up and then the last thing just so you have all of the information you may need we're going to come in here find the english smart bracelet user manual and let you take a look at the different pages i put them on here so you can freeze frame them on youtube and read them if you need to there's the process and information on downloading the fundu app yeah there's the different layouts for the apps the apple kind of a moving your finger around bubble look or uh, there's a three by three matrix and pages of those uh, nice that they're doing these fancy colorful brochures. This shows you some of the different pages. There's where you'd be doing your Bluetooth calling and uh, blood pressure, heart rate, all of that's in here. And then a different language as well. So let's charge it up and uh, take a look at it. Here we go. Pretty similar to the others. Going to press the button, turn it on. Notice the screen protector on it with a curved glass. They don't quite fit right. They're kind of visible around the edges. So if you don't like it, I often just pull them off. Uh, they're not really doing that much protection. Here's our different languages. We'll scroll through them, let you see what's on the watch. It's a very sensitive screen. It's jumping right to wherever I touch it. Okay, we want to come back up to English. 
launch it into there, and boom, we're right into our first watch face. Scrolling down gets us to our control panel. We're not tethered to the app on the phone yet. Here's, whoa, that's fast. Here's information about the device and its version and release time. A lot of technical information there. We've also got battery level, alarms you can set. There's the QR code to download Fundu Pro, but you can also, of course, download it from the, um, the show notes. I'll have a link for you down there. And then you've got this, which are the different ways you can see your app. Smart style is uh, the other direction. Okay, you're not connected, but if you did, this is where you would have your notifications. Come over here, and we have all of our apps in this display style. Thought we just switched that. Well, no, no, that's the smart style. Here's the nine app style, like that, which uh, actually I prefer to go through that way because uh, they're more linear and it's easier not to skip them. They're only they're icon driven, so unless you know the apps, you could get confused. Okay, and then coming back this way, all your exercise stuff, walking, running, hiking, and so forth. There's no GPS in this one, so it's all tied to pedometer, and basically it's going to give you distance on the ones that use a pedometer, but the other ones is probably going to be just time and calories burned and that kind of stuff. So here we go. Man, the screen just times out really fast. It goes dim really, really quickly. Uh, time, steps, calories, heart rate, and then your uh, speed, which is probably in pace on here. It says there's a second screen, uh, distance traveled, and s distance per minute, maybe? Back over here. What do we do to get out of it? There we go. I just pressed it. Uh, save success. Okay, okay, okay. We're out of that. So we can get into the overall apps. Here is... Uh, Ah, it's really too sensitive. Calling. Uh, there's your... Um, you have to be connected, of course, for doing Bluetooth calling. And I'm not going to go through it on this watch. We've done it on many, 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 many ones. And they all basically are the same. The same speaker, same everything in them. So you've got your uh, connection for calling. You call logs. All of that stuff is in here, those first three. This thing is... Um, I don't know. Is that your screen, your voice recorder? Here we go with a uh, search new device. There's your step count. Okay, finally something familiar. Here is uh, the where we change the style of the layout. This is to find your phone if you're tethered to it. There's your sleep monitor information. And now we come over here for heart rate. So now we're finally getting into something. It's um, hit. You can have your history or help on how to do it. And it should now be processing it. Yep, there's the green diodes. And that's just a simulated chart coming in it. It vibrated and gives me my heart rate. Then here's your uh, blood pressure. That probably take just a little bit longer to do. They typically do. And then overall blood oxygen level as well. And again, the simulated chart coming in on this one. Generally around 95 to 99%. Okay, then you come over here. Now we've got alarms that you can set, add a new alarm if you want to, a basic calendar function in here, which shows you the date and uh, the month. And we haven't tethered, so the time and date are off on this as well. And then there is uh, your onboard calculator, which is nice when it has one of these things. You can calculate your tip when you're out at the store, right, at the, at the restaurant. Then you've got camera for remote camera tethered to your phone. You've got uh, a stopwatch that we start over here. Tenths of a second. When you leave it and you come back to it, it's still running. That's a nice feature. A lot of times they don't. Here's uh, the calculator. We just did that, didn't we? Okay, I'm ahead of myself or behind. Um music player i think that's where i messed up music player and you're not connected here either but if you were you could remotely control your bluetooth music from here you can change the volume and uh you could change of course the um cancel you can skip forward or backward by track and play of course and so forth that's there then the the, the and now we go down here 
where you have the ability to change your languages and how it displays things. That is your uh, different settings for muting alarms. Wake up gesture, we want to turn that on for when we twist our wrist to see the time. Shake to answer a call, basic stuff there. And then overall settings where you can change your clock from uh, nine different faces, it looks like. Okay, here we are in them. Oh, you got a nice big one like that. There's a colorful, multifaceted one, a big red X. These are very, very similar faces we've seen. Okay, that one that's on their um, website. Another one, and we're back again. So I like that fancy, colorful one. That demonstrates really well. And that's number five. You can turn time sync on, or you can set your time and date separately if you want to. New notification actions bright. Turn that on, and whenever notifications come in, it'll light it up on the phone. Your overall sound levels, or what the sounds are, your ringtone, notification tones, and then volume levels. Six is the highest, so it's all the way up on here. You got unit that you can change from metric to imperial. All right. Here's motion. Uh, we just did that. Okay, reset and about. And we've covered all those too. So back to the watch face here. And I wanted to go through these again. Now we're back to the first page. Okay, I'm wondering about that one. I'm not sure. And of course, I have to turn the connection on. And what I don't see is temperature anywhere. And it mentioned it had temperature. There's sedentary reminders. Maybe I skipped this page. Heart rate. Uh, that's the ECG I was talking about, and this is going to give you a heart rate supposedly based on ECG plus PPG. PPG meaning it's coming from the diodes, but ECG requires you to touch an electric plate and create a circuit all the way around, and it, it just doesn't work. Uh, so, yeah, you're getting a PPG heart rate, same as if you touch that one, I'm pretty sure. And there's no real ECG in here. Okay, here we go. There you go. Down here is our uh, temperature. And it's in degrees centigrade here, but you should be able to change it from within the app to Fahrenheit. And uh, it takes it a little bit. It's going to read the temperature. Now, I'm not totally sure if it's doing it by diode or, or by sensor. I didn't see a sensor on the back of it, so it might be an interpretive one. Anything that tethers to Fundu, uh, take it with a grain of salt. All of the readings, honestly, I would check all of them to confirm whether they're correct or not. So temperature, blood pressure, man, this is fast. Blood oxygen, and we went through all of those already and everything there. So those are the different apps that are on the watch. And we can change the watch faces simply by twirling the knob right here. Uh-huh. And I'm pretty sure when you're in the apps, we can twirl the knob to go through the pages. So you have a lot of flexibility with it uh, beyond what uh, you're doing with just the swiping, but you do have that level of control as well. Okay, so once again, from the AliExpress uh, website, you've got the Finau Factory Online Store. We're looking at the i86, okay, maybe also known as a PKW26 Plus. Lots of different names to these things. It's got a really nice rectangular, bright screen, good resolution, does Bluetooth calling, rotational knob. It has all of your biometric stuff, including temperature. It claims ECG, but I'd skip on that one. And it's really an inexpensive watch, all in all, for what you get. Um, it's not using a separate magnetic uh, charger, wireless charger. It uses the two-pin kind, so it saves a little bit of money overall on that. You have it in some different colors, and you have a link in the show notes that will send you right over here. You can pick it up. All right, gang, that's a short one. I'm trying to tighten them up for you a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the notes. We'll see if we can answer them, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.